And on this Friday night, we begin with breaking news. For the second time in two weeks, a Riverside County Sheriff's deputy shot and killed in the line of duty. I shouldn't be here tonight having to do this again. In February, when he was sworn in, I, I hugged his mother and I promised I would take care of him. Tonight, the sheriff fighting back tears as he remembered Deputy Darnell Calhoun. Hi, everyone. I'm Susie Sa. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Vaughn. An emotional night for the Riverside County Sheriff's Department. Hundreds of deputies and local police officers have turned out in a show of support and to pay their respects to the fallen deputy. Deputy Calhoun was shot late this afternoon on Hilldale Lane in Lake Elsinore. He died at the hospital. KCAL News Inland Empire reporter Nicole Comstock is live tonight at the hospital in Wildemar. Nicole. Yeah, you're right, you guys. There were hundreds of law enforcement officers who showed up out here tonight to honor this fallen sheriff's deputy, and I'm sure that that was very comforting for everyone here at the Riverside County Sheriff's Department. We still have a lot of police out here this evening standing guard outside of the hospital. And just a short time ago this evening, the Sheriff's Department shared this photo here of Deputy Darnell Calhoun saying that he lost his life in the line of duty tonight and that they are devastated. If you take a look at this video here, we're at Inland Valley Medical Center in Wildemar, where Deputy Calhoun was rushed into the ER shortly after 4.30 tonight. Sources tell us he was taken into emergency surgery and suffered gunshot wounds to both his torso and to his leg, and that his family was here by his side. What a press conference this evening. Sheriff Chad Bianco told us Deputy Calhoun was a San Diego police officer for two years before coming to RSO last February, where he was assigned to the Lake Elsinore Sheriff's Station, that he was a husband, a son, and would have shortly been a father. In this next video here, this is where Deputy Calhoun was fatally shot at a home on Hilldale Lane in Lake Elsinore, just about seven miles away from the hospital here. The sheriff says Deputy Calhoun was the first to arrive to a call there for domestic violence and a child custody dispute. They say they're not sure what happened initially, but that a second deputy found that deputy Calhoun shot in the street. He says after that, a gunfight ensued between that second deputy and the suspect, with the suspect being shot and sent to the hospital in critical condition. Here's Sheriff Chad Bianco, followed by the city manager and the mayor of Lake Elsinore. He was the most cheerful, the most positive, the most good, wholesome man you can imagine. And now a father, a mother, a wife, and us are trying to figure out why. In February, when he was sworn in, I, I hugged his mother and I promised I would take care of him. You know, he's really resembles one of the true heroes out there willing to protect us. And it's just, it's just very sad and horrible. Just as we're still in the process of grieving um, an RSO family member, today we get this news that doesn't seem to be real, that we've lost an, another deputy. Um, so our condolences to our entire RSO family. And and it was only two weeks ago that another Riverside County Sheriff's deputy, this young man, Isaiah Cordero, was also shot and killed in the line of duty. He was a well-known and well-respected motorcycle officer in Harupa Valley. At the time, Sheriff Chad Bianco was very critical of the legal system, saying that his killer was ultimately let out of jail early and that that's the reason that he lost his life. Out here tonight at the hospital, he really didn't comment too much about the actual encounter between this deputy and the suspect in Lake Elsinore. He said he didn't want to say anything at this point in time about that suspect, whether or not he has a known or lengthy criminal history. He really just wanted to let everyone know that there's so much support for this fallen deputy Calhoun. For now, reporting live in Wildemar, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News. Nicole, thank you. Our Desmond Shaw is live in SkyCal over the hospital in Wildemar. And Desmond, you've been flying back and forth between the shooting scene and the hospital for hours tonight. 
Yeah, that's right, Susie and Jeff. And unfortunately, becoming all too familiar with Riverside County and where they'll be heading to, to the coroner's office in Paris, because as Nicole was saying, we went through this just a couple of weeks ago. You see all the deputies out here preparing to pay their respects here. They will be wheeling the fallen deputy out in a coffin. They will give them a salute. The coffin will be draped in the American flag. They will go in the back of this hearse right here. And then after all of these deputies get inside their vehicles and on their motorcycles, I imagine they will be going out to Clinton Keith Road you can see just how many of the uh, different vehicles there are out here. This will be a huge coordinated effort. I think they're going to take Clinton Keith to the northbound 215 towards Paris. That would be the most direct route. Uh, we'll just have to see once this gets on the move, though, but we'll see uh, on and off ramps being shut down, streets being blocked to make way for the procession uh, as they will make their way up towards Paris this evening. Live in Sky Cal overhead, I'm Desmond Shaw, Jeff and Susie. Back to you in the studio. And I'm Simon Editor Mike Rogers at the desk. We're learning more tonight about Deputy Calhoun. I want to take you to that photo that the Riverside Sheriff tweeted of him. This photo was taken when he was sworn in. Chad, Sheriff Chad Bianco told us in February. Now, we've learned here at the desk that Deputy Calhoun came from the San Diego Police Department. He spent about three years there. This is video of him from KPBS. KPBS actually came up to Riverside County and did a story about Deputy Calhoun when he transferred from San Diego to the Riverside County Sheriff's Office. Uh, this story done in March. We also know that he worked, uh, here's a picture from him from San Diego PD. He was there for about three years when he transferred up. Now the sheriff had said in a press conference that uh, he moved from San Diego, that the sheriff spoke to his mom when he was sworn in. Now the reporter that did this story from KPBS, Kitty Alvarado, also spoke at that press conference and she said that when she had talked to Deputy uh, Calhoun that he was excited not to live in San Diego anymore. He was excited not to make that commute. Um, now, the story that KPBS did was kind of focused on the vaccine mandates, uh, which is one of the reasons Deputy Calhoun moved to Riverside, saying he was vaccinated, but the vaccine mandate in San Diego uh, made things a little hostile down there because not all of the officers wanted to do that. So that's what brought him back up to Riverside County, which is where we believe he lived. Uh, so the San Diego PD chief uh, tweeted condolences today, uh, saying we are devastated to learn of the passing of Deputy Darnell Calhoun. He was killed in the line of duty while protecting uh, his family, friends and colleagues in Lake Elsinore. So just a terrible situation, you guys. Uh, but he was in San Diego for about three years before coming up to Riverside County.